Hi, Tyler Interfidelity here at Can Jam at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest 2013. I'm here with Gavin Fish from Geek with his new Geek Out that was started on a Kickstarter campaign. Just plugged some Odyssey LCD X's into it, and boy, this little gadget's got some balls. Hi, Gavin. How are you? Tyler, doing good. Thanks. Good. Thanks for uh, showing us this little gadget here in an impromptu moment on a table in the middle of the uh, show. Yeah, I'm happy to. Uh, would you show us a little bit about your product? Well, this is Geek Out right here. Uh, Geek Out is manufactured by Light Harmonic in Sacramento, California. 100% U.S. made. Everything inside Geek Out is made in Northern California. And at the show today, we actually brought a naked version of it so you can see the circuit board. Uh, it is a non-upsampling, non-oversampling, 32-bit, 384K, PCM DAC, plus a DSD-128 DAC. It's a USB-powered 5-volt, and it comes in three different uh, models. One with a power output of 450 milliwatts, one with an output of 720 milliwatts, and then this guy with a one watt output. Cool. And uh, yeah, it's a pure class A headphone amp. And, and it's got two jacks on it. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, we uh, we actually call that the uh, Sharefire feature on uh, on Geek. One, uh, this, this guy right here, the output impedance is 0 0.47 ohm. This guy right here, it's at 47 ohm. So depending on the headphones that you use, you can choose the output uh, jack that you want to use. You can also plug both of them in at the same time. There's plenty of oomph to power two sets of phones. Or you could use that as a line-out feature to put into your you know, your stereo system as well. And what are the prices of these uh, little gadgets uh, going to be? It starts at $199. 450 milliwatt version is uh, $199. The 720 milliwatt version is 249, and the one watt version is 299. And when can somebody buy one? January. Great. Yeah, it'll launch at CES in January. It'll be on shelves at that time. Great. I really like the uh, two different output impedance feature on the product. Uh, uh, I'm a big believer in controlling the output impedance for most headphones and having it below one ohm, and that's really important. And then a lot of headphones like Sennheiser 600s and high impedance headphones kind of uh, tend to benefit and blossom a little bit with a higher output impedance. Um, and I would, is there a l difference in the noise floor of the, the different products? Uh, no, actually they, they, share, they, they share the exact same uh, pure class A design. And in measurements in the factory, even at one watt uh, compared to the lower you know, 450 milliwatts, the, the noise floor is very, very similar. Cool. Well, that sounds like a great gadget for in the low output impedance mode for driving balanced armature uh, headphones so you don't get the interaction between the output impedance and the wildly sling, swinging impedance of the balanced armature headphones. And uh, I hope the noise is low enough to where you can drive some of these headphones without hearing any hiss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see about that. I'm going to try to get my hands on one. Certainly had a lot of fun with it today. Thank you very much, Thanks, Gavin. Tom. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And we'll see you guys at the next... Well, this isn't really a booth, but we'll see you at the next booth. Shh.